So I'm just going to give a uh, last once over on the budget deficit. So remember that the budget deficit, our formula could be government spending minus uh, little t times y plus id. And that when the budget deficit rises, the change in debt also rises. And then in this case, there is an upward, uh, there's an upward pressure on debt. And this is supposed to be two words, not one word. And in this case, the arrows are both pointing down. That must mean that there's a downward pressure on debt. Downward. Downward pressure on debt. And that's all you really need to know for a budget deficit, plus all the other stuff that I taught you in the last couple of videos. <laughs> So in this video, we're going to go through the depth to GDP ratio and uh, pretty much the formula for the, the, the GDP ratio, the depth to GDP ratio is uh, D equals depth over GDP. There are various ways to calculate depth to GDP ratio, but this is the most uh, popular one. And we can abbreviate that as big D over Y. And uh, this D is how much depth we have, how much depth we have relative to, how much depth relative to uh, our nominal GDP, our nominal GDP. And I taught you what nominal GDP is in the way beginnings of this series. Now, uh, now change in little d, change in the depth to GDP ratio is equal to uh, change in big D to depth minus change in y. Now I want you to know that uh, that's a positive, a positive, positive uh, change in d that is bigger, that is bigger than a uh, change in y, this will lead to an uh, increase in the depth to GDP ratio. And one last thing, if we take d, the change in d and divide it by uh, d, D, capital D, and capital Y, then we would get something called, we would get something called the growth rate, the growth rate uh, on debt. The growth rate on debt. So let's go through a quick example of that. So let's say that, uh, Let's say that our depth, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. So let's say that our depth, our capital D, is equal to 2, and our GDP, or, uh, or Y, let's just use the letters, or Y, is equal to 1. Then our little d is equal to 2 over 1, which is 2. Now let's say that uh, the big change in D, the big change in D is equal to 10, and big change in Y is equal to 3. So let's just use this formula to find the growth rate on our debt. So big change in D, 10 over the capital D, which is 2 minus uh, change in y is 3 over capital Y, which is 1. Uh, now we must uh, do our arithmetic here, which is 10 over 2, have a lowest, co lowest common denominator, or common denominator, and that is 2, 6 equals 4 over 2, equals 2, and this d, which is 2, is equal to that d, which is 2. So essentially, uh, our debt is doubling. So what we found out is that after taking away 
uh, our GDP, our debt, our total debt is uh, four. And before before that, the last year our debt was uh, or our debt was two. The, the net the uh, or not last year, the, the debt to GDP ratio was two. So pretty much, the growth rate on debt is uh, two. If you take two times two, we get the four, which is uh, the debt we end up with at the end of the year. And this is all I want to teach you in this video. Uh, please stay tuned. I have some more videos coming up. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next